Hey, what's up, guys? Like my new cap. <laughs> anyway, yeah, as promised, this is a video on my newest homemade. Uh, there is no particular name except for I am stock. <laughs> it's just a pun, okay? It's just a pun. So you can use this in stock plaster wars because this is stock. I'm just kidding, all right? It's just a name. Stop hating on me. <laughs> but anyway, this is not a pump snap, although it looks like one. It's uh, it's not even like a quick soap or you know those one of the small ones they call a Sancho Panza or Sancho Panza or whatever. But this is based on an R3 design. Um, credits to Ezina for the R3 design. But by definition, this should be called a ring catch blaster RCB, uh, in which because inside the catch mech is actually made up of a ring catch and um, it works almost the same way as it would for an R3. And um, yeah, I'm using all Singaporean. Um, parts, uh, PVC pipes, tubes and fittings and uh, the cool thing is none of it um, is the same as um, an R3, none of it is what you would use to make an R3, totally different, R3 is based off all UPVC pipes, 13mm, uh, 16mm, 20mm, but this is like huge, uh, this is actually a 40mm or I don't know how much that is in, in, in inches, but it's a 40mm um, plunger tube diameter and uh, Everything else is just, uh, you know, parts and fittings. And this part is mainly for cosmetics. Uh, the shotgun slot is cut out. Um, and the reason why the bolt is going to be stuck onto the priming bar instead of, uh, I mean, the plunger rod instead of the shotgun grip is because I'm using a Delrin rod based uh, plunger rod. And I don't want to cut a slit inside the Delrin. Uh, it's gonna be a long, you know, long tough time dremeling because I'm only working with the Dremel. So what I mean is, um, instead of this this bolt actually following through with the shotgun prime, the bolt stays behind. Uh, let me give you a demonstration. So it stays like that, like so. And uh, yeah. So this whole catch mechanism is actually uh, internalized. And uh, yep, the trigger is all the same as what you would find on an R3. Um, yeah, you can see the whole priming, uh, this, this part actually go down whenever it catches on. Uh, I don't know if you can hold it steady enough for you guys, but watch carefully. So it goes down a little bit and it comes up again when it's ready to fire. Yeah, like so. So anyway, uh, this orange part over here, this is from a Firefly. I cut out the priming bar of the Firefly and I sanded it down, shaved it down and then I attached it on. And um, this, this is the cool thing, uh, this is actually a uh, reducer coupler that I did not have to do any work to, it's just bought off the shelf like that. It's a 40mm to a 15mm which goes into a stub and then I can just fit on a hopper. So uh, that goes on uh, perfectly well and uh, if you need to see a firing demo, you can just click this vid over here. Alright, so um, anyway everything on is, uh, everything here is machine screw on so uh, it's really very sturdy and uh, this gives me a little space for me to act a cheap rest like that when I'm firing. And um, what else do I want to say about this thing? Oh yeah, it holds a little uh, Easter egg area where this is actually a dart holder, so you can actually just <laughs> yeah pour out darts and stuff like that. You can hold extra darts inside. This is uh, just a scrap piece of a uh, some kind of a tube. It fits nothing. It came from the Shadow Hawk. Was it the Shadow Hawk? I don't know where it came from. I think it was a Shadow Hawk though. But uh, yeah, it's just a scrap piece. So yep. Um, all in all, I had fun building this thing. It's not a hundred percent air seal. Um, because of the plunger, the plunger head, but uh, in it houses a K26. Thanks for the info, Atani. A K, a full-length K26 spring, uh, followed by um, two uh, recon stock springs in a row. And uh, it's not, I don't know, it's not like at complete rest state. It's a little bit compressed as it is now, and um, it's about a six inch or six and a half inch draw. And um, yeah, that's so it's not full compression. So yeah. Uh, things is firing pretty well. Um, hits about 80 feet. I was just doing an estimation because uh, I don't really have the time to go and do a proper firing demo. Uh, I mean a proper range test, but I have done a firing demo. You guys can check it out. So uh, yeah, the reason why this thing looks so white and looks so so clean is because I took the time to actually sand down every single pipe that I was working with. So I had to cut it first and then sand it down slowly. So the whole thing's like it looks very evenly colored. Like, uh, you know, sometimes when you buy pipes uh, from the shops, they kind of have like black marks or like a scratch lines or like dust and shit. So yeah, anyway, um, yep, that's that's about it. Uh, it's very comfortable for me. It's made to my length. Uh, I mean, my length. It's made, <laughs> it's made to my preference. So yeah, I'm just holding it like that. And uh, yep, not much of a problem. Uh, that's all I have to say, I guess. Um, 
yep you can just fit a hopper onto this thing now straight away so yep so if you guys are interested to you know make one first I would suggest that you understand a R3 blaster first or have some knowledge of making homemade it's not a snap it's an internal catch ring uh, mechanism so yeah and uh, just note all Singaporeans this thing every single part it's been picked up from the same exact store and it's not even a specialized PVC store so I'm pretty sure that you guys if you just drop by any hardware store you can actually find all the parts that you need like the fittings over here, the fittings, the couplers, uh, this part, the L joints, T joints, uh, everything in uh, including except for the Delrin rod, uh, big ups to hat, HAT, horse hat tail thanks for the Delrin rod bro um, yep that's about it so I hope you guys um, you know if you're inspired or interested in making uh, homemade go ahead and you know try and uh, flip the shit on some stuff and uh, create your own so this I would say is pretty unique to me and uh, yeah I like it quite a bit uh, I'm gonna find some way to actually improve the um, plunger rod or plunger head seal I'm sorry the plunger seal I don't know how I'll do it I might have to make a self made gasket or something that's about it uh, hope you guys like this blaster because I do, I do very much. Peace.